This is a three minute evaluation of Wikipedia. We're going to cover four things. Firstly, what is Wikipedia? Secondly, some notable criticisms of Wikipedia. Thirdly, an evaluation against Bill Katz's criteria and then a recommendation, is Wikipedia right for you? What is Wikipedia? So this is the explanation from Wikipedia themselves. But the easiest way to think about this is as an encyclopedia that anyone can edit. So we've had online encyclopedias before, and it all stemmed from Microsoft Encarta, a CD-ROM version of an encyclopedia, which of course got some inspiration from Britannica. But we've moved to this, Wikipedia available in a number of languages and also very searchable and highly updatable. But it's not without its studies and criticisms, so notable criticisms from studies, academically done. In 2005, the really well-respected journal Nature did an article comparing 42 different encyclopedia articles with Wikipedia's similar articles by experts in their relative fields, and what they found was that Wikipedia stood up well. There were some problems with the lack of singular editorial direction, which is really what Wikipedia is all about, plus some errors of omission, because in some ways, if it's not popular, it's not on Wikipedia. But overall, the results were favorable. So Nature gave it a tick of approval. Another periodical, Library Journal, a US publication, gathered a group of librarians together to do a study on Wikipedia who found that Wikipedia gave a surprisingly balanced point of view due to the sheer number of contributors on both sides of any argument. So again, another tick of approval from librarians. Bill Katz, in his book, An Introduction to Reference Work, introduced seven criteria for evaluating any reference work. So let's have a look at how Wikipedia stacks up. Video snippets of hard-hitting highlights. Authority, everyone, so many contributors, well-balanced because those contributors do have experts and the sheer numbers. Audience, everyone who has a web connection, basically you, me, anyone. Purpose, it's a great place to start your research, giving you an idea of where to go next with your investigation, and it covers such a broad range of topics. Content, there are some problems because of omissions and in some cases some misinformation, but its ability to self-heal and its ability to source so many different people from the sheer number of contributors makes it an excellent source. Format, it's web available, making it highly available. Search terms are used to get you to the information quicker. Each article references other articles to help you understand quicker and is well referenced with footnotes. Cost. It's free! That's great. The only thing to note about that is because it's free, you never know how reliable it's going to be. Will it be there tomorrow? Client use. Overall, it's a great place to start. It's one source for such a broad range of topics. So getting back to real world, in summary, it's a great place to start. It provides reference across a broad range of subjects. You not, must keep in mind some caution when it comes to errors and omission, misinformation, but generally, if a topic is popular, you're going to get good results. Overall, it's a good resource.